Hey guys, it's Jess at Seeds Insanity. So kiddos and parents, we are going to be sending out some seeds to a lot of you guys. And I'm really excited that so many people wanted to try to grow some things. So uh, what we had posted about was actually sending out some of our red burgundy, or no, not red, royal burgundy uh, bean seeds. It's a bush bean plant, super easy to grow, super fun because they do tend to germinate really quickly and you can really watch them grow um, day to day. They'll change so much. Um, we did some pictures of a couple of our bean plants the other day, um, checking out how fast they grew from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. So those are super fun. Check those out. Um, and so we are going to be sending out some seeds to some of you guys that were interested in trying that for yourself. And I've been getting a couple questions, guys. What are we gonna plant them in? Uh, not everybody has a garden prepared. Not everybody has a bunch of uh, pots laying around. Maybe you're not sure if you can plant them in pots or in the ground. Um, so I just wanted to share with you a couple of ideas for how you can plant your bean seeds. So this is kinda gonna be a scavenger hunt around your house. If you're not sure what you have, this is gonna be a really fun time to take a look around and see what you can work with. Um, I went into my garage and I happen to have this. This is a, just a burpee seed container. This is their seed starting container that you can buy at any store. That's great, comes with everything you need. But what if you don't have that in your garage? What other things can we use around the house? I don't know, hmm. What do we need? We need something that can hold some dirt and some water, but that can also drain so that we don't flood our little plants. So what do we have that could hold some water or some things? I started to look around. Have you ever planted a plant and put the little plastic pot aside and maybe it just sat on the side of the garage? Take a peek around the yard, take a peek in the garage or in the shed, Maybe you have some little pots laying around that you didn't know you had. So there's an option. You can reuse pots from previous plants that you may have picked up at a garden center and planted and forgot about the pot. What else could we find around? Well, usually at the Dollar Tree, they have these little seed starting kits, these little trays. They come with a big tray to put your little cells in and a little plastic lid to put over the top to make some humidity. You can find those really cheap, usually at the Dollar Tree um, in the spring and summer. They also, a lot of times, will have the little um, peat pots, which are the ones that look like they're made of little ground up cardboard. Um, a lot of times they'll have those uh, as well. But what if, A, the budget doesn't allow for buying some fancy kit or peat pots, or B, you guys are staying at home, you're self-quarantining and we're not going out and about right now, so we still need to find other things we can use. I've got some ideas. You ever eat applesauce in a cup? Or yogurt in a cup? Or make one of those little quick de do macaroni and cheese in a cup? Any of these little cups would be perfect. Any of these could work. Um, any type of cup, a red solo cup or any other color solo cup, um, styrofoam or plastic can work. Um, so if you have some of those um, travel disposable coffee cups, any of those things can work. Another thing that can work, what your berries come in. Now this is a little bit shallow because this was from some blackberries, but if you had one of these from some strawberries, or something a little bit taller, um, that would be great. You can fill the bottom half with your soil and plant your seeds right in that. And the extra bonus on this is when you close that lid, you're gonna hold in some more of that moisture, which is gonna help your germination. Once those little seedlings pop up, then you start leaving the lid open. Um, but so it comes in its own little, it's like its own little mini greenhouse. And if you've already bought the strawberries, well, then your container's free. So think about that. Maybe something that your fruits or vegetables came in. Um, could work also. Another thing that can work, the incredible edible egg. <laughs> it's not just for eating. The shell can be a container for you. So next time you whip up some breakfast and you crack your egg, do it carefully, and you can actually fill um, dirt inside the little egg and plant your seed in it. So that's another place that you can find a container. Um, can we talk about toilet paper? Let's talk about toilet paper. 
because <laughs> I'm sure we haven't talked about toilet paper and paper towels enough the past couple weeks. So if you're like a lot of people who clearly have a supply of this at home right now, um, you probably have rolls. These are perfect. Listen, you take your scissors, you cut them to be, mm, I would do at least three inches deep if it was me, three to four inches deep. Um, this is just a standard paper towel roll. I would probably cut this into three pieces. Your toilet paper roll, you can either leave it whole or you could cut it in half. And you just set these right onto a tray and um, any kind of tray will do. You can use a paper plate, an old corningware dish, a bakeware dish that you're not using right now. Um, go ahead and just set them in the tray so there won't be a bottom, but that's okay. Uh, fill your dirt right into the little cylinder and plant your seeds in it. So there's tons of things that you can use. I want you to go around the house, see what you have, see what can serve as a container um, for your seeds. And next we will talk about how we're gonna fill them and how we're gonna take care of them. But for now, get out there, scavenger hunt around your house and figure out what you have to start your seeds in, okay? All right, we'll talk to you guys later. See you in a bit.